हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम टैल एंड बैटल आई एम रोहित एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर अवर न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रीवियसली आस्ड कोडिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर कॉन्गनीजेंट जेंसी एलिवेट प्रोफाइल इट विल हेल्प यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द सेम ऑल्सो यू कैन ज्वाइन अवर मास्टर क्लास ट्रेनिंग वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द प्रीवियसली आस्ड क्वेश्चन डू ज्वाइन अवर सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स where we are providing constant updates for off campus and on campus placements links to all these handles are provided in the video description so before we start don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications so read the question carefully try to figure out the logic it is always important to develop the approach for solving the coding questions if your approach and step by step methodology is clear within 2 to 3 minutes you can write down the code so that's why analysis of the problem statement is very much important if you see the coding statements are provided like uh, scenario specific questions or storytelling kind of things are there but if you read them properly analyze them properly you will definitely get the logic behind it so here also we will follow the same approach the question is about numbers puzzle given a set of numbers one can arrange them in any order so there is no restrictions on the arrangement of order but it must pay a penalty equals to the sum of the absolute differences between adjacent numbers so this is our important condition penalty is calculated based on the sum of absolute differences between the adjacent numbers and we have to return this minimum penalty means you have to calculate the penalty for every possible case and whatever is the minimum that we have to return right so question is very pretty simple let's check out the input and output specifications in input specification there are two inputs first one is length of an integer array of numbers and second input is integer array so length is uh, accepted by the user and based on that length you will have array elements as an input output is the minimum penalty value that we have to return now let us analyze the provided test case the n value that is 3 means there will be three elements in my array that is 1 3 and 2 now we have to check the minimum absolute difference right sum of absolute difference between adjacent numbers and not only for this but all possible options or all possible ways after rearranging this because we can rearrange them in any order it is mentioned in the problem statement so what should be our approach simple first we will check for the absolute difference sum of absolute difference of adjacent element for all possible ways of arrangement and then whatever is the minimum value that will be our final answer right so let us elaborate this question based on the provided test case there are three inputs uh, sorry there are two inputs out of which the first one is value of n that is equals to 3 and we have the provided case of 1 3 2 these are the array elements now this can be also one of the possible way so if you analyze the question properly you will get the idea that we need to find various possible ways in which we can arrange the elements and once the possible way is figure out we can take the sum of absolute difference of adjacent elements so these two elements if i target absolute difference is 2 plus these two elements now i am targeting absolute difference is 1 so total sum is 3 similarly other possible arrangement also you can check 1 2 3 is another possible arrangement then 2 1 3 is another possible arrangement then 2 3 1 is possible arrangement so i'm just writing out all the possible arrangements that we can make 3 1 2 is possible and the last one is 3 2 1 is possible okay now check for the summation of absolute difference of adjacent numbers adjacent elements right here 1 plus 1 that is 2 here it is 1 plus 2 here it is 1 plus 
in this case also it is 2 plus 1 and in this case also it is 1 plus 1 so if you figure out the minimum absolute difference we got here so this is our minimum penalty and that's why the output is 2 now we got the idea how exactly the output is generated now the question arises how we can convert it into the approach so if you follow the pattern over here the pattern if you see the possible arrangements which are giving me minimum penalty or minimum value if I target these two you can say they are sorted see the first one is ascendingly sorted and second one is descendingly sorted so you can take any one ascending or descending sorting by default also we can use sorting function which will give me ascending sorting so if I sort the array in ascending manner then I calculate the formula for absolute difference then the value will be 2 which is our expected output so if you observe this all arrangements you will get the idea that minimum penalty value that we are getting for these two cases is on sorted order of array elements it is on sorted order of array elements the first one that we received is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the second one that we received is 3 comma 2 comma 1 apart from that all of them are giving me value 3 but 2 is minimum right so this is ascendingly sorted this is descendingly sorted so what should be my approach now I can figure out the approach of the question first one what I will take I will take the inputs so input will be n and then array of size n okay array elements of size n after that I will perform the sorting sort the array and once I done with the sorting then I will perform traversal using for loop and in that traversal I will check the condition of absolute difference calculation so it will be calculating absolute difference of adjacent elements right once I get the calculating difference of adjacent element I will have the summation of all this and then display the final value display sum which is my final output right so this will be the approach and this is what I was talking about that once you analyze the question properly you should have this kind of step by step approach to solve the question now we can easily convert this into the coding part okay so let's jump to the coding aspect now so I will be using an online compiler here okay so let me just clear this data okay so the question is number puzzles puzzle okay I have added a header file I would like to use some built-in functionality for sorting so I am using this header file also bits slash stdc plus plus dot h then namespace and in the main function so first I will accept the input so for value n I am declaring a variable n I will accept the value of n based on that I will declare an array of size n and using for loop I will accept the elements so i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus and inside that I will accept the array elements okay once my array elements are accepted I can write down a separate function which will return me the value so I will call the function suppose the name of the function is puzzle which will accept two values first one is number of value n and second one is my array okay now I will write down the function here so my function is going to return integer value name of the function is puzzle which will accept first value as n and second value will be array okay now inside the function what was our first approach we have to perform the sorting so I am using built-in sort functionality this functionality is coming from the header file bit slash std c++ dot h right so I will pass my array starting point and ending point so array plus n 
this will give me sorting of array okay once my array is sorted then i can just perform the traversal first i will take some final result variable suppose result is equals to 0 and then perform the traversal integer i is equals to 1 i less than n and i plus plus i hope you got the idea why i am traversing from 1 because i have to take the absolute difference right so that i will be using so result plus equals to means result is equals to result plus absolute difference all these things are already provided in the problem statement okay nothing extravagant we are using absolute difference of current element and adjacent element okay so i have to take it for both the cases so i will use some indices here array of i minus array of i plus one sorry not plus one i minus one see this will give me the absolute difference of array elements which are adjacent to each other and then it will get stored to the result parameter so we are doing the summation of what we are doing here we are doing the summation of absolute difference of adjacent elements this is what we are doing at this particular line okay now once this loop is complete final value of result variable is our answer and that we have to return and it will get passed to the cout functionality which is already written in the main function here line number 31 and that will be printed so let us check the execution okay so syntactically it is correct let us see the input input is 3 and the input elements are 1 3 2 so first value n is 3 and the array elements are 1 3 2 and see the output output is 2 so this is what the expected output we received if you check the line by line code also it is very easy for understanding once my array is there i am just performing the sorting of array and i am taking the absolute difference okay even if you go here and check if the array provided is 1 3 2 as per the same step i am doing it in ascending sorting so my array elements will become 1 2 and 3 now take the absolute difference of these two and these two so here absolute difference will be 1 plus here absolute difference will be 1 summation will be 2 now you get an idea that once when we were starting with the analyzing of the question it looks little bit of difficult but now if you see the coding part it's very easy that's why approach identification is more important right so this is medium level of difficulty question once you figure out the approach easily you can write down the code okay so i hope the understanding was very clear and the approach parameter is more important just focus on that and easily you can solve such type of questions so thank you for patient hearing till the end and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos thank you